Hi everybody, this is Rob with Pop Eater with the busiest lady in showbiz, Selena <laughs> Gomez. Hello. How are you? Very good. Thanks for joining us. Of course, thank you for having so me. So many, many things. Let's do the single first. Okay. Loving it? Thank you. Loving it. You love it too? I love it. How does that work? Do you get to pick the single from the CD or do they pick it? Oh, no, 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 everything. Yeah, no, 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 it's all me. <laughs> I definitely am very, very particular with what I put out. And Who Says is perfect. I felt like it was it was a song that I needed at the moment, but I felt like my fans really needed as well. Explain it. Why, why, why did you need that song? It's extremely inspirational, and it just makes me feel really good to have a positive message out there right now with the cyberbullying and bullying in school, and people just, it's hard enough growing up, figuring out who you are and what on, or on earth you want to be, so it doesn't help when people are constantly cutting you down. And how did you learn that lesson? Like, pass that on to your fans. Like, what tip do you have? Everybody's looking at you all the time. People are criticizing you, and yet you seem to be the most regular person I've met. Oh, thank you. But no, it gets to me, obviously. I think that's why I, I try to reach out to my fans, because I understand it. It's heightened for me because, you know, you're maybe getting picked on at your school, but I'm getting picked on by the entire world and right. critiquing everything I'm doing. So it gets hard, and people forget that I it hurts it hurts my feelings it does do you read stuff like are you aware of your, your image um, and who you I'm aware of what is being said about me I don't try to re I don't really read like articles articles but I have a Twitter and I have a Facebook so it's on it's my Twitter so I'm able to type on it and I see my at replies that it's such a quick reply uh, that can you know ruin your day so it's 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 hard sometimes and then do you have you figured out yet how famous you are yeah what come on what you must know things are changing for you like just in this last year Weird. your career has exploded <laughs> oh thank like, you I, I was reading stuff earlier today and, and you know stuff that I've wrote about you you're like the new it girl thanks you know I don't it. know, I don't know you're that you're the lead guest on David Letterman and you don't know you're the it girl <laughs> come on <laughs> That's so weird. No, once you start having that mentality, that's when it goes downhill. I'm just enjoying it. How did you become such a good human being? <laughs> that's all my mama. <laughs> really? My mama and my family. Now, she's also your manager. Yes. And that, you know, sometimes that doesn't work. You see famous, famous young people with parents that as managers. And well, she's my mom first. I think that's the key. So she's my mom before she's my manager. So whenever she comes to planning things for my career or planning press days and stuff she always is like no she needs 15 minutes to rest no she needs this she's gonna have an hour lunch not a 30 minute lunch so and I have a great team also that she surrounds me with my agents my publicists everybody's just really good got it uh, but you said earlier that you're in control you're the boss uh, yes when it comes to creative wise certain things but my mom's my boss for sure <laughs> And then also a movie you're working on. Yeah, Monte Carlo comes out July 1st, and it's really fun. It's a romantic comedy, and it's kind of, it's kind of the next step into the film world for me. So I'm kind of nervous. Really? Why? Because it's you know it's my second film, and hopefully people enjoy it and kind of attest. Who's come over to you and said, "I've got your CD"? Well, I normally go to people. <laughs> <laughs> I normally go to people. Like I went to the Vanity Fair Oscar party, and I and I saw Reese Witherspoon, and I about had a heart attack. <coughs> she's amazing. So I walked up to her, and I was a total goober. I was like, "Can I have a picture with you?" And she started laughing. She's like, "Of course." She's like, "Oh my goodness, if your song naturally, if I hear that one more time, my daughter loves it." And I had a heart attack. I was like, oh my God, Thank you. It was such a great moment. And, like, and she was nice. That's the best. When you, you admire someone and you see that she's so right. cool and down to earth. It was nice. Right, because if they're not, it can Yeah, it bums you out. Job. It bums you out. I'm not going to ask you who's done that. I actually have yet to meet. Oh, there's person. many, many. Hang out <laughs> with me for a day. There's many, there's many. And then how do we never see you in trouble? Like, there's cameras now everywhere. I never see you in the magazines or even... I don't even write mean things about you. Like, there's, there's never anything mean to write about you. Do you just keep yourself out of the public eye, or? I try to as much as I can. Obviously, it's hard, but I, I love what I do. I just want, I just want the light to be on the things that I do. I don't right. want it to be on my personal life because that's not what I signed up for. Even but I know it's a living in this world, I mean, the world has changed. That it's sort of part of it. It is, and I have to accept that, obviously, um, which I have, but. When I do things that I consider mistakes, because I do, I'm not perfect, obviously, I kind of keep them to myself. I, I am smart about saying, okay, I want to learn from it myself. I don't need it to be out there. And it's hard, but I try. 
Thanks. You do a great job of it. Thanks. I've been digging for months and you are <laughs> as clean as they come. Thanks for joining Thank us. We you. love you. Thank you. <laughs>so you've seen the ladies we've mm. tasted their wares so to speak and <laughs> they were delicious <laughs> delicious they amber, make fabulous drinks you're warned your first warning amber we've got three fantastic backups i can't decide who i know they're all beautiful thank you ladies thank you for being here yeah. thank you for go being to our here. facebook page tell us which one of these yeah ladies you, you tell like. us you vote okay. on which one of these lovely ladies can come back and hang with us and you know what you all can hang with yes, us whatever you want to we but we are on twitter ladies. we love talking to you I'm at Naughty Nice Rob. I'm at Rian and Ali. So tweet us, go to our Facebook page, and remember, if you're going to be naughty... You've got to be nice. See you next week. Okay. What do you need? Just 30 seconds. Getting the okay, party okay. up. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. happy, happy, happy. So she needs dental floss. She has, I've yeah, never nice. seen that before, actually. Let me see. Nice it's lipstick like a piece of chicken or something. Look at the lens. A five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fly was undone.